as you know, Dave, I just moved to Toronto after being in Niagara Falls for about seven years. Even though it was uh, apparent there in the peninsula, um, uh, what I have been reintroduced to here in Toronto is this leaf hysteria, this this leaf nation, leaf as it were. Nation, exactly. I've been hit right in it. You know, I'm a Habs <laughs> fan, of course, so I find a little bit in front. But I'm I'm trying to understand um, the root of this this profound kind of allegiance to. Uh, very mediocre team. There's something to be said for cheering for the pathetic, I think. A lot of sports fans, there's a certain, there's a certain challenge in terms of the investment you must make in a team that is, that is perennial, peren, perennially bad because ultimately the payoff is greater. I think that with that kind of hysterical fan base, sort of um, myopic, they don't really, that uh, management, owners and so on have taken advantage of that fervor by producing a less, you know, but by producing the subpar product known as the Leafs. And one of the reasons it is fascinating to a lot of us mm -hmm. is because it's very complicated. Yeah, you know, it really great. is. And I also think that does breed a certain fascination among the fan. Like if you're completely new to hockey, you're either going to go, you're going to follow the team that won the Stanley Cup last year, sure. or you're going to follow the team that is the most complicated and most interesting for better or worse. Well, I, I still have absolutely no idea about <laughs> understanding the Leaf fan, but thank you for your input. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that much insight was. <laughs>